The next part of the program uh, is as mysterious to me as it is to you. At this time, I'll just bow out and turn the program over to Doug Krieger of the Grunions, who some of you may remember as the wild man on the piano at some of the previous spring scenes. Well, as most of you are aware, either as guests or members of these groups, and as Barney many times has explained to you, uh, these groups are very highly structured, certainly the Grunions are. And logistically, of course, each one of us had to assume a different assignment and activity to make this thing come off. So uh, I chose, or was given uh, an assignment here that appeared to be very uh, simple to find a mystery group. Now this group uh, is uh, from Michigan. Uh, they're the southeastern uh, uh, district. Wait a minute, no, don't ask me. Uh, they're the, the southeastern district regional uh, runner-ups. <laughs> Oh, come on, uh, they helped me out. <laughs> so, so uh, 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 they call themselves the the uh, the four clefts, clef, no, clef palettes. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's the clef hangers. All right. Now I'm gonna, gonna get this recording going for the first thing. So just give me a few minutes. But I want you, as soon as you hear the music to give them a, a grand welcome because uh, they got me out of the the, uh, the barrel here, I hope. How you doing, Doug? I wish you brought better equipment. <laughs> okay, welcome, man. <laughs> Arthur Godfrey, Mike Douglas, and TV, 
There are large in Las Vegas. They've appeared in practically every international capital. Uh, they've had two or three major recordings in the charts in terms of the song you just heard, Symphony for Susan. They're, they're uh, you know, I choked up a little bit. Uh, I didn't know if we could pull all this off. <laughs> I, what I told you was too, my hands were pretty sweaty because they were about eight minutes away from missing their flight. But I think you all know who we have today with us is our mystery guest, the Arbor. How are things in Glockamora? Is that little brook still leaving? Does it still run down to Donny Cove through Killy Bags, Kilcarry, and Kildare? How are things in Glockamora? Is that willow tree still weeping there? Does that lassie? With a twinkling eye, come whistling by. And does she walk away, sad and dreamy there? Not to see me there. So I ask each weeping. Each lad that comes a whistling to relay how are things in Glockamore this fine day.